All right, everyone. On your way in, grab a mask, put it on. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I want you to follow every single direction I give you. Listen and react. Let's begin by walking around the space. Make sure you touch every inch of this floor. Every part of it should be covered. Now imagine you live in this space. This is your world, your society. It has boundaries, it has rules. Imagine this is where you are born and this is where you will die. Now remember, we are all telling our own stories. You're all the main character inside of your heads. You may be surrounded by many, but move alone. You've arrived in this new land, this new world, with an open mind and hope that stretches for miles and miles. Now friends, when you are ready, you may begin to interact with others in your space. However, remember, we all think we're the heroes of our own stories. So if you're not the hero in someone's story, you must be careful because you could be the villain. This room, this society, needs a villain. It allows everyone else to relax. It allows everyone else to let their guards down. This room isn't always a safe space. It's a space where individuality puts you at risk. I want you to imagine that anyone in this room can hurt you. That doesn't mean everyone is bad. Some could be good. You will meet people, connect with them in the most unexpected ways. It's here where you have the opportunity to thrive, to grow find happiness. Move about the space. Adapt to the changing nature of the energy. Things do not stay consistent forever. There will always be change. As much as you want to believe that you are the main character, you have absolutely no control over anything. Now that we are familiar with the space, I'm going to introduce an object into it. You may interact with the fork as you wish. This object should change the flow of the room. It should change the energy. Who doesn't want the fork? Who does? What will they do to get it? Who will this person share this fork with? This fork is a gift, but careful people will be able to see that any gift can be a possible curse. But still, we don't move unless we take risks.
with great risks comes great rewards. But with great risks can come great faults. Things may first appear as a gift, and only after careful inspection do you realize that it's actually a curse. This is where we falter. This is where we choose either to join the crowd or are left behind. If you are left behind, it can be hard to get back in. If you choose to be different, you risk being left behind. You lose the chance to be remembered, to be cared about. Even worse, those who once loved you will do everything in their power to remind you that they no longer do. You will be alone. You will be left to fend for yourself. You are desperate and lost in a world that cannot and will not accept you. This world that once accepted you. No longer will. You are simply a pawn in a game of chess where you are destined to lose. You will have no choice, you must leave. And yet, you'll realize that there is no escape. You are left to live in a world where you have no power in. And you have no hope left. We found our villain. What will you do? Does the outsider find a spot back in? Does the outsider stay out? Can the outsider get back in? What will she do? What will she do? Go get help, call my Yes,